your favorite girl is here again with another interesting video if at any point you have desired to travel to poland especially for work purpose then this video is for you i hope that you sit back relax and enjoy this video let's go to poland <laughs> y'all know how we do it on here like this video drop your comments turn on your post notification so that whenever i post a video you all will be notified now let's hop right into today's video y'all already know on this channel i bring to you contents majorly centered on traveling and for today's video i am going to be talking about poland poland is a country in central europe has its capital as Warsaw and its official language as Polish. Poland offers many career chances even for recent graduates and after working for a while may serve as a gateway to get to other European nations like Portugal, the UK, Malta, etc. So for today's video I am going to be centering on Poland work permits. The thing about this visa is it is affordable. One can get a visa for as low as 80 euros and no application fee whatsoever and no requirements for IELTS. And one thing that makes Poland stand out is the fact that it is a safe place to live as its crime rate is very low. Cost of living. Poland has a very low cost of living. In Warsaw, which is the capital, one can get a bedroom flat for as low as 450 euros per month. The standard of living is growing as wages are increasing and Poland is a desirable location for international investors because there are many business prospects. Types of work visas. One, we have the work permit A. For the work permit A, you need this if you have a work offer from a company with a Polish business registration. You should be granted a work permit on the understanding that you will also be granted a valid resident permit. And this is the most common. Number two, the work permit B. You need this if you're working as a board member and you intend to stay in Poland for an extended length of time. Number three, the work permit C. This is for those who have been sent by a foreign employer to work for their Polish brand in Poland for a period greater than 30 days. Number four, the work permit D. This is issued to employers outside of Poland who have been assigned to work in export services. The Schengen work permit C and D, they are easy to get regardless of whether you are a self-employed individual or an enterprise. Yeah, Poland is a member of the Schengen region, which is a union of 27 European nations. If you have a visa for any of the 27 Schengen countries, whether it's a work visa or a tourist visa, you can travel within these 27 Schengen countries without a Let me quickly highlight the jobs in demand at the moment in Poland. I'm going to be breaking them down in different sectors. First, the construction sector. In this sector, we have the roofers, masons, electricians, plumbers, carpenters, and painters. Next, we have the meat processing industry here. Butchers are in high demand. These are people that are responsible for grinding and chopping and processing meat that we eat. Next, we have the home care industry. Here, nurses are needed, then caregivers. The caregivers are the ones that are responsible for helping customers with driving, dressing, taking prescription, cleaning, cooking, and other daily tasks. Then we have the hospitality category. Jobs in demand here include cooks, janitors, kitchen assistants, cashiers, front and back of house employees, and security guards. Then we have the technology and informative industry. And here you would see jobs like software engineers, programmers, testers, web developers, content producers, etc. And there are also big demands for positions in supermarkets and warehouses. So if you're looking for a job in Poland, you should look at these areas 
I'm going to quickly talk about new websites that you can come across this job offers on. For these genuine websites, we have LinkedIn, we have Glassdoor, we have Indeed, we have Prakage.pl, we have GoWork.pl, we have Gratka.pl, we have eRecruiter.pl, and we have Jobel.org. These are the top job hunting websites to check out if you are looking for a job in Hola. Now, how to apply. Your employer should apply for a work permit on your behalf. Prior to beginning employment in Poland, a Polish employer must submit an application for work permit on your behalf. Employers are required to present paperwork, including the application form, proof of application fee payment, and proof of their legal status. And these papers should have been obtained from the National Court Register. NC. Next, you should apply for a work visa at a nearby Polish embassy. Then with the visa, you can go to Poland for work purpose. And afterwards, arrive in Poland and start working. So that brings us to the end of today's video. If you're looking to work in Poland, start your application process right away. Go on those websites, search for a job, start your application, and I wish you good luck. Thank you guys for always doing this with me. And if you're yet to subscribe, please do well to subscribe and be a part of this family. Remember to give this video a thumbs up, like this video, yeah? Drop your comments and turn on your post notification so that whenever I post a video, you all will be notified. And until I come your way again with another interesting video, peace out.